Hey family, happy Friday. It's Wendy here. We have a mobility and stretch day today and today we have Katya. Hi guys. All right. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining me today, Katya. I really appreciate it. So today, remember, focus on your breathing. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Really relax your body and feel your body sink into the ground, okay? So just take everything off your mind and really uh, focus on what we're doing today, okay? So it's about uh, 30 minutes of stretching and mobility work, so let's just get into it, okay? Here we go. We're gonna do more dynamic movements first and then move into more static holding stretches, okay? So our first one, we're gonna do a inchworm to cobra. So feet together, locked in. We're gonna go straight down, keeping your knees locked. If you feel that stretch in your hamstrings, come down into a cobra, bringing your hips down, look up, chest tall, hold about two, three seconds, and then back to that plank, and then walk it back up. Okay, we'll be here for about a minute or so. Take your time. shoulders back and down. All right, now let's get on to our all fours in quadruped position. We're going to do some joint rockers. So remember, this really will warm up all your joints. In the morning, if there's a couple things you need to do before, really warm up those joints, your wrists, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, all of that in one movement. Okay. Oops, something's popped. <laughs> a quadruped thoracic rotation. So same position here. One hand right underneath the chest. Now want the other one just right behind the ear and we're gonna open up our chest, point that elbow up to the sky or ceiling. Hold for two, three seconds, come back down. Really, with every rep, try to open up the chest more and point that elbow up as high as you can. Remember, we're not stretching for too long, so don't hold for too long. Two, three seconds is good. Try to keep your hips square to the ground. Good, let's do one more. All right, back to center. Let's switch sides. Now the other hand behind the ear. Let's open up. shoulder and then we're going to drop it forcing our hips to go into external and internal rotation with each rep try to get your knees closer to the ground really try to touch your knees to the ground each time relax your body take a couple of deep breaths Left side's tight. Feel a difference? <laughs> Your right one? Yeah. Good. We'll be here for a while. 
well. Our hips are very tight if we sit a lot or even use it a lot. Squats, lunges. seconds here. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, back to center. Now we're going to do a hip bridge to reach over. So plant your feet down, sit up tall. Now we're going to lay down, right? That hip bridge is when you bring your hips up, squeeze your glutes. Now we're going to reach over diagonally. And you're going to roll onto one shoulder. All right, so there we go. Up and over, alternating each side. Come back down, up, reach over. So you want to reach diagonally over, up and over. Get your hips up, up, up. This is going to stretch your lats. You're going to get the thoracic spine rotation. You're going to fire up your glutes. Good. Remember to take deep breaths. Get your hips up as high as you can. best when you do it in the morning or after you wake up. This is the complete opposite of what you do when you're sleeping, right? When you're sleeping, I like to go into a fetal position on my side, so this is the opposite of that. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. All right. Now we're going to go into a lunge position, okay? Get our hips nice and stretched out. Extend, sit up tall, torso tall, crown tall. Now we're going to try to come down. If you can reach your elbows, awesome, but you might have to kind of ease into it. Maybe just your hands first. Remember, we're still doing dynamic stretches, so come up again. With every reach, try to get lower and lower. Everyone's different, so you might not look like ours. It's okay. Just Make sure you're <laughs> comfortable no matter what, what position you are. If you can't get your elbows down, that's totally fine. Feeling that. <laughs> Remember guys, stretching is supposed to be a little bit uncomfortable. So if you're in a lot of pain, not a good sign. <laughs> you might need to stop or don't go as far as us, okay? Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, come back up, relax a little bit. Let's switch sides. Ooh, this might be tighter. <laughs> flexible. <laughs> my heels come up or else I fall over if I try to touch my heels to the ground. It looks good. <laughs> and then from here, hike it up. I think I'm the only person who can't squat in the world. <laughs> Back down. Chest tall. Gotta lift my heels up. Pike position. Back down. I like shifting my weight. You don't have to, but I like distributing my weight differently. It gets a good stretch on it. Back up. Alright. Oh, almost fell over. 
Ten more seconds. Frog. So separate your knees as much as possible and bring your toes together. Feet are just barely touching, right? Our whole point is to really extend your inner thighs, your adductors. So right now we're just extend each leg, and with each extend, we'll try to flatten and um, put our feet down. Okay? So we'll bring it back in. Remember, these are still dynamic stretches. We don't want to stay too long. Feel that in your inner thigh. Yep. Ooh, these make me feel awesome after. Because we never work these or ever stretch it. That's right. Over. So right now we're stretching the side that's kneeling, so we want to reach over on the other side. Okay, so if your left knee is kneeling, you want to reach over to the right side. You feel that from your hips all the way up the finger. Good. So now we're holding, right? We want to be so with stretches and any holding movement pattern, you really want to stay about 20 30 seconds to get that full benefit of that stretch. Taking deep breaths. With every exhale, you're trying to get more range of motion, deeper stretch. And, and a balance act too, yes. Good, five more seconds. Three, two, one, back to center. Ooh. All right, now we're gonna reach back and grab that foot now. Good luck, if you need a wall or a chair, Totally fine, take your time here. Remember, square your hips up, torso nice and tall, crown tall. Yeah, squeeze your glutes, you get more stability too. So when you squeeze your glutes, you'll stretch your hips more. Putting the front side into the extension. I can't see you, but I can hear something. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're making me. And five, four, three, two, one. Release slowly. All right, shake that out. Now we're going to do a diagonal stretch, okay? So let's look behind us and try to touch our heel. Remember, you're still squaring up. It's just your spine that's rotating. 
If you can't touch your heels, that's totally fine. You can use the other arm to push the outside of your thigh to get more rotation in there. You're not rounding your back, you're extending it, arching your back, okay? That's how you get a stretch in your hamstrings. So I want you to arch your back. With every exhale, try to get lower towards that toe, big toe, small toe, whatever you want to think about. Oof. 10 more seconds. extension on this side and a reach over. So, nice and tall, reach it nice and over. Now my right knee is kneeling, I'm going to reach over to my left side. Squeeze your glute, guys. your back, right? Not rounding, opposite, okay? You can touch the ground. Ooh, this is all nice. Relax your body, don't fight. Don't fight the tension. extension move. So we're going to sit down on our heels here. And if you can, grab the bottom of your feet here. 
and you want to come up, right? Squeezing your glutes as high as you can, extend your hips, and just go as far back as you can. If you can't come down here, that's okay. You can just use your hands, push back your lumbar spine, and stay in this position, but if you're flexible, reach back here. You might have to slowly ease, ease into it. It's okay. Remember to squeeze your glutes, though, as hard as you can to keep you in place. Ten more seconds. And in three, two, one. Come out of it. Oh, that's a workout itself. Yeah. <laughs> Have a seat. Now we're gonna go into lounge chair. We're gonna get a good stretch on our shoulders and our chest here. So hands behind our back. I want you to rotate your fingers out and away from your body. Then from here, plant your feet down. If you can, pop up and then slowly make your way down to your heels. Okay. The distance between your hands and your shoulders should be greater each time. So I will take this shoulder into a stretch. See that? You can come back, get some relief, and then sit back down on your heels. If you need to, have a seat each time and just scoot and inch yourself closer to your heels, okay? Remember, open up your chest though, okay? Don't let your shoulders round. The whole point of it is to extend and rotate and open up your chest. So this requires a lot of mobility, and stability in your shoulders. If you're not there yet, just have a seat. This puts a lot of tension off. Try that. So, Katya, if you sit down, it's a little easier. Tension's off your shoulder. Okay. When you pop up, that's more work, right? Yep. Okay. So, depending on what you guys want to do, you can have a seat to put less pressure in your chest and shoulders, okay? <sighs> Ten more seconds. Open up your chest. Three, two, one. Let's sit back down. Ooh. Shake it out a little bit. Now let's get into pigeon or a 90-90 position. All right, remember, you want to get your legs at 90 in the front and also 90 in the back. Now, really work on squaring your body, your hips up, right? It's gonna to want to pull you in to fight that rotation. Okay, now sit up tall. We're gonna hang out here for about 30 seconds. Remember to extend your spine by sitting up tall, crown tall. And all you have to do is just take some deep breaths. Ten more seconds.
the best part is just when it's, this is done, you feel so relaxed. Good. Ten more seconds. I'm going to try to reach out further in front of me. Alright, now we have a shoulder extension, so we're going to get into kind of like a child's pose position, but we're not going to sit down, okay? So I'll show you on the side. So we're going to have our booty up, we're going to reach our hands all the way out as far as we can. Basically a kneeling down dog. Now the key is to push your chest down as much as possible, getting that stretch in your shoulder, back, your spine. And in three, two, one, let's come up, get rid of that stretch a little bit, sit up tall. Now we're going to stretch our chest a little bit more. Now we're going to place our hand about 45 diagonally out in front of us, okay? So this hand's here, the elbow's just uh, propping yourself up, and we're going to twist and open up. Get that stretch on our chest. Good. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I cry. Woo, feeling that stretch in your chest? Yes. Good. Maybe in your bicep a little bit too. Yep. Toward the elbows. Mm -hmm. Good. Ten more seconds. Try to drop lower. Turn your torso a little bit more. And in three, two, one. So let's rotate back. Sit up tall. Reset. Let's do the other side. Place it 45 degree, up and out. The other one's just right below your shoulders, and we're gonna twist and rotate. Get that stretch on that chest and shoulder here. Good. Remember the exhale portion of it is when you're relaxed and you can actually stretch a little bit more each time. Ten more seconds. And in three, two, one, slowly come back to center. Back tall. Ooh, wow. Pull your shoulders back and down. All right. Last but not least, let's get into that. Thread the needle position, child's pose, right? From here, arms straight out. Now we're gonna thread one arm through the other and really push down our shoulders. Palms should be facing up. With every exhale, sink into the earth. Let gravity pull you down. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Come back to center. We're gonna now end on child pose. Let's sit down on our heels and really just relax here. Bring our chest, head to the ground. Good. And in five, four, three, 
see. One. We are done. Oh, How do you feel? Really Great. I needed that after the week. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, so remember, I know that a lot of you are not really into stretching and mobility work, but I'm going to repeat this. It's important that we do it, right? When you get that full range of motion, you're going to get a better workout. You're going to be less prone to injury. And you know what? You just feel good. So what's wrong with that? Right? I feel good. Good. Well, Katya, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow, Saturday, for a live workout, guys. Bye.